Renewing certificates. One of the issues you will inevitably come across at some stage in your PKI career is the certificate lifetimes. When we set up a CA hierarchy, it's common practice to configure the root CA with a lifetime of 10 years or so, and the intermediate with about half that lifetime, and of course the issuing CAs with about one to two years. Now the problem is, what happens when the root certificate only has one year of its 10 year lifetime left? If the root CA issues a certificate to the intermediate server, it's no longer going to be a five year certificate. It's only going to be one year. Now the reason for this is that the maximum lifetime of the certificate can only be the same or less than the minimum amount of a time that's available in the hierarchy from this point up. So this means that if a CA needs to get a certificate, then you work your way up the CA hierarchy and whatever the least amount of time a CA has left on its certificate is the most that this CA will be able to renew its certificate for. So in this example, if an issuing CA wants to request a certificate, we can see that the intermediate CA has a one year certificate and the root has a two year certificate. This means that the maximum amount of time the issuing CA can get a certificate for is one year. One of the things you'll need to take into consideration when renewing certificates is any child CAs renewing their certificate, a parent certificate will affect them. So if we consider that our root CA only has two years before it expires, and then we renew it back to 10 years, then its child CA, the intermediate CA, will not automatically go back to five years like it was before. Likewise, any issuing CAs will still only be able to use or renew their certificates for a maximum of one year. But if we then renew the intermediate CA back to five years, then any new certificates given to the issuing CAs can then again use their original setting of two years. These certificates will not automatically update, so if we only have one year left at the issuing CA and we've updated the root and the intermediate CAs, then the issuing CA will still only have one year left. So let's take a look at how we renew a certificate, and we'll start off with our root CA. So on the root, right click, and we'll select all tasks and then renew CA certificate. Now this will temporarily stop our certificate services on the root CA, so we'll say yes to continue. Now what will happen is this will open the certificate renewal and new key signing dialog box. Here we'll get a rather detailed message that tells us what we already know, that we're going to renew a certificate when yours is about to expire. It also tells us that we should sign some new keys when ours have been compromised, or we have a program that requires a new key or certificate, or we want to move to a new certificate revocation list because ours have become too big. So as long as our key length is greater than 1,024 bits, which ours is, ours is 4,096 bits, then selecting yes will generate a new public and private key pair using our existing settings. So it's good security practice to leave this setting at yes, because if you're really renewing a 10 year certificate, then it's certainly wise to generate a new set of keys, just in case someone has a spare supercomputer in the corner working overtime, trying to compromise your security. So we'll leave these defaults, and then we'll click on OK. Now this can take a short while as it needs to generate the key and restart the certificate services, so I'll pause this video and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so our services have been restarted and I have a new certificate, so what we'll do is we'll right click on our CA route and we'll select properties, and here we can see we have a certificate one. Now let's go and do the same thing on our intermediate CA. So here we are, we'll right click on our intermediate CA and we'll select all tasks, renew CA certificate. Again, this will stop our certificate services, we will say yes. Now again, we see the same message we saw before, so we won't go through it again. We'll just leave the default at yes and we'll click OK. Now this time, our intermediate CA has to contact the root CA and issue a request for a new certificate. So we need to make sure that the root CA is online. Now if our root CA is not online, we could simply press cancel and we could save this request to a file, then take this request over to our root CA and import it the same way we did when we first installed our issuing CA. But our CA root, it is available on the network, so we'll just click OK. Now we can see here we get a message that it is in the pending state, so what we'll do is we'll click OK, we'll see the services are going to restart again. In the meantime, what we'll do is we'll jump back onto our CA root, and then we'll have to issue the request for the new certificate. So back on our root CA, if we go to pending requests, we can see that we do actually have a new request, so we'll right click, select all tasks, and then we'll select issue. If we go back to our issued certificates, we can now see that the certificate is listed in the issue list.